I'm Erin Kyle. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the AORN Guidelines for Perioperative Practice. The updated AORN guideline for preoperative patient skin antisepsis provides guidance for preoperative patient skin antisepsis to promote patient safety and reduce the risk of surgical site infection. It includes new sections on decolonization and quality and updated recommendations on preoperative bathing, surgical site hair management, and selecting, applying, handling, and storing antiseptics. The guideline author, Karen Decay, told us that because guidelines are only useful if they can be successfully put into practice, there is a focus on implementation in this revision, such as how to implement a decolonization program and ways to include preoperative skin antisepsis in facility surgical site infection prevention bundles. Decolonization is the practice of treating patients with antimicrobials and or antiseptics to reduce or eliminate the bacterial load, specifically of Staphylococcus aureus, on the patient's body and in the patient's nares. The goal is to decrease the risk of transmission and SSI acquisition for high-risk procedures in patients. The guideline recommends that an interdisciplinary team comprised of one or more infection preventionists, epidemiologists, pharmacists, perioperative nurses, surgeons, microbiology laboratory personnel, and other stakeholders, which are identified by the healthcare organization, to determine the need for a preoperative decolonization program at their facility and use a risk-based approach to determine whether or not the decolonization strategies should be implemented. If this interdisciplinary team determines the need for a decolonization program, evidence-based, horizontal, vertical, or blended implementation strategies are recommended. A horizontal approach focuses on reducing clinically relevant pathogens using universal interventions, such as nasal decolonization, chlorhexidine gluconate bathing, hand hygiene, and personal protective equipment for every member of a general population. This approach is known as universal decolonization. On the other hand, a vertical approach focuses on reducing a specific pathogen, for example, Staph aureus, using targeted interventions such as screening, nasal and skin decolonization, and contact precautions for a select population. This approach is known as targeted decolonization. A blended horizontal and vertical approach incorporates specific actions from both strategies according to the needs of the organization and based on relevant quality data analytics. This updated guideline also recommends that a standardized protocol be employed for preoperative patient bathing. Recommendations around surgical site hair management replace the older verbiage hair removal. This is because hair removal should be minimized and avoided unless necessary. When hair must be removed, hair removal should be performed as close to the surgical start time as possible in a location outside of the operating room. Finally, there is a new recommendation for including bundled interventions as part of a quality improvement program which is focused on surgical site infection reduction.